we're doing well, but we have tremendous potential to grow incredibly when we get rid of these horrible, disgusting trade deals with China. Over the last five, six years, we've been losing 300 to 500 billion dollars a year. Billion! Nobody even knows what the hell it is is so much. It's ending. It's ending. It's ending. And it's not just China. It's not just China. And what we do is we protect wealthy countries for nothing. For nothing. Would you say Saudi Arabia is wealthy? Yeah. Right? And I said to the king, you got to pay. I'm sorry, you got to pay. We're going to protect you. You got to pay. Get the money. You got to pay. You got to pay. I have friends in the audience, they're good businessmen. They're looking like, you know, absolutely. They're, but you're not a politician. A politician doesn't say, you got to pay. Japan is an immensely wealthy country. Great people. Prime Minister Abe just had a big election, won by a landslide. He's a friend of mine. But I said, look, we're protecting Japan. They're making a fortune. They're sending us millions of cars. We're not allowed to send them. They have barriers. We can't send them cars. But they send millions of cars into here. They pay essentially no tax, and we subsidize their military. When I say subsidize, I'm not talking about like for 2%. We pay for 70% of their military. <laughs> Nobody knows this. And I said to the prime minister, who's a great guy, I said, how come? And he honestly says, nobody ever asked. <laughs> when we straighten out this, we have so much potential. And there are many countries like that. I'm not looking at just those. There are many, many countries like that. And you know what? We should protect people that can't protect themselves and that are getting slaughtered. It's okay. It's okay. That's okay. And we're now building by far the strongest military that we've ever had. And the reason is... And the reason is that when you have uh, the strongest military ever in the history of this world, nobody's going to mess with you. These big guys know it over here. These people know it. I don't want to use our military. But this is a, a very dangerous world. This is a sick world in many ways, OK? It's a very, very, I mean, I see things as president that you don't want to know about. The things that I see, you don't want to know about. We have to be on guard for some really treacherous people that are running some places. And we are so prepared, you have no idea. We are so prepared. <laughs>